Okay guys, now we're going to basically do what we did over the last two years with fear and worry. And now we're going to do it, and that's how I am. That's how we got out of the third dimension. And at this point, y'all should be able to stay enough in your feelings, in the now, to know how to get yourself out of the feeling of uh, fear, anger, um, despair. Uh, you need to stay in the now and keep on top of those <clears throat> feelings so that you know when you're having that kind of feeling and you can get out of it ASAP. Knowing that if you stay in it, you're sending a message to the law of attraction that will bring more of those kind of circumstances that will uh, continue those same exact feelings. Okay, now we're going to go the same basic thing. Whenever we were in that way, I, I suggested that you that you have these go-to things that pulls you out of these these feelings. Now, those feelings of anger and fear that, as I said, were brought on that really broke down and fractaled down those lower vibrations that was really done by the masculine, the what they say is undivine masculine. I think all of it is part of the one. There's not anything that's undivine. But for the sake of conversation, we'll go ahead and go there. In order to take a part of the whole and a part of it and fractal it down to get to those lower vibrations, then the undivine masculine used force instilling fear to get down to uh, using power and strength and whoever had the biggest stick, who was toughest, in order to instill fear that led to despair, which is how you, we got down to the fractaling down to those lower vibrations for the contrast in experience for those who wanted to play this game on that level. Okay, and that was there. And that's what we dealt with coming out of the third dimension. Now in the fourth dimension, the undivine feminine took us from a judgment that was kind of more choice all the way down to a pretty severe judgment where you, may, you the judgment right in the lower level of fourth dimension and into the third dimension is pretty critical. Critical of self, critical of others, in every which way. This uh, negative judging of everything and this process of going from choice, where choice, there's no one was really, whenever you're just dealing with either or, and there's no real judgment, you know, judgment involved. Um, that's done from the standpoint of no fear, no worry. But in order to get down so that the undivine masculine could create that atmosphere to take us fractaling down into the lowest 3D vibrations, there had to be a breaking up, a pulling away of undivine feminine to kind of break that energy that was in, that was tied to the planet for that to happen and those fractals to break down in such a manner that they could be used, that they could be really broken down so that they could really create this cool game with all of this intense uh, vibrations, uh, vibrational contrast on this very, very intense level. So that was done by the Undivine Feminine coming from choice all the way down to some pretty severe judgment. Now. The masculine um, around the world for quite some time. This is common for 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 men that they're taught to stand up and be a man, to be themselves. To uh, it, it's pretty much a stand up and be, stand up and be yourself, stand up and be. Feminine has been taught for a long time that for a very very long time that they're second class citizens. For a long time they were. Um, property um, that coming out of that situation of creating that that arena where the feminine energies were put, put under that kind of energy breakdown to kind of break the take the undivine out of the divine when it comes to feminine energies then they were really taught uh, you can't do it alone. Can't do it alone. And then eventually that was more and more and more of that until it got to the point that uh, the can't do it alone 
was coupled with fear. Now, in order to survive as we came back up out of that, um, from, the, from the point of, yes, you can, you're a god too, and you're merging back with those divine energies of feminine, then what we have to do is we have to come out of that, uh, whereas the masculine came out of the third dimension by saying, hey, uh, stop being a bully, uh, it isn't just your way or the highway, relax, accept everyone, stop with the fear factor, uh, stop trying to control everyone, relax, adding that back into the mas divine masculine and all it is into a more accepting thing. Now we've got to get that feminine energy to get out of this negative judgment where the feminine has been pretty much scoping things out throughout, uh, especially we'll talk about female humans or fem humans that are in, that are feminine, primarily feminine energies, where they collect data because it's the belief system that they're weaker and that they have to be careful. And of course, their risk that um, uh, the, the masculine, counterpart can be very um, dangerous so they have been taught to collect data and uh, they do that through judgment and depending upon who what when and where the feminine entity is in what skin suit they are they can collect this data in a very very severe way especially the more they've been hurt the more they collect data. So they'll scan across their lives and other skin suits of the humans, especially masculine energies, and they'll analyze them to see if they are a danger or not. Then that becomes an analyzing of all things everywhere, and that's the energy that is taken from the low 4Ds, handed it over to the undefined masculine to take it down into the areas of the low 3D, was this low 4D of accumulating information based on rather severe judgment on people, places, things, experiences, everything, and usually that judgment became very, very harsh. Very, very harsh. All of that was eventually based on fear of trying to survive. Okay. As we come back up out of that, one, whether you're in a female skin suit or a masculine or male one, you're still dealing with both the masculine and the feminine energies. It's just a matter of percentages. But you have both in you, always. Everyone does. So in dealing with these undivine feminine energies that are really struggling right now as they work their way back into the hole, then this is what you need to understand. You need to understand that, that was the process to hand it over to the masculine, to get down to those... Um, those lower third dimensional energies to create this fantastic game full of intense contrast that is very, very deeply in amnesia, far, far away from the understanding of all it is and the God that we are. In the process of coming back up out of it, you need to see that process so that you can start looking around and you're just going to start again, be in the now, and you're going to be watching for you doing that judgy thing. Again, this is like the fear thing. It, this is built in in so many different layers that it will be extremely difficult for you to catch. And it's just a matter of doing it in the now, one right up to the other, until you work your way out of it. How fast you do that and whether you're willing to do that is totally up to you. But as long as you stay in the judgment vibration that is very, very... Uh, condescending or very much black or white or very much it's got to be this way not that way as long as you're in that kind of judgment vibration you cannot raise into the fifth dimension it is not anyone trying to be mean to you it is simply the vibrational level that you will be keeping yourself on same thing is true earlier whenever we were talking about worry despair, if you were feeling worry and despair, hatred, animosity, you were going to send that vibration to the law of attraction and that will set you in more situations that will cause you to feel those vibrations more. 
So, if you feel love, you draw more love. If you feel hatred, you'll draw more hatred. It's just the way it works. That's the law of attraction. Well, now we're going to go into judgment. And that's where we go into those... There are some statements that are old wise statements. I like judge not. Yes, lest ye yourself be judged. This is a law of attraction statement, which basically means if you're sitting judging anyone or anything a certain way, expect that to others to judge you the same way. It is simply a vibration. So if you are very rigid about what how you look at people, places, things, events around you, and you say, no, this is the only way that is the right way, then expect others to look at you because no one is the same and no one agrees and everyone is very different. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to look at you like you're not doing it the right way, that you're not doing it right. So the more you accept others, people, places, things, events, etc., as being perfect the way they are for the individuals that are involved in it, the more you will be accepted by those around you. So this is where you need to start playing this game. It's moment to moment as you step through the day, keeping an eye on the way you're thinking, how you're feeling. Watch for those judgments. Watch for yourself looking at that person and sneering or in your mind. You've got to be just like with the third dimensional vibrations. You've got to be extremely honest with yourself. No one knows, no one can see but you what's going on in there. But just like if you stay in fear, anger, despair, you if that's what you're feeling, that's where you'll stay. You have to you have to change your feelings before you move into vibrations that are different. The same thing is true with this. So you have to become very acutely aware of what you're thinking and what you're feeling if you want out of it. As long as you are feeling very judgmental in a very, very, very uh, condescending way of other people and what they're doing, then that will keep you stuck there. Not that there's anything wrong with it. You're absolutely, uh, you have every right to stay and play in those vibrations if you wish. I am talking to anybody who wants to move up and out into the fifth dimension. And that's what you're going to do. So you have to be very aware, just like when you caught yourself worrying about something, have your go-to to change your mind. My go-to when it came to judgment, um, and although judgment wasn't near as hard for me to deal with at any time, but judgment, what I use for that is, ah, it's not my game, it's theirs. How interesting. They're doing a perfect job. And if it disturbed me, just like anything, I turned away. I could do something else. I could do something that I'm in control of in my game. But it's none of my business to judge what another creator God is doing. Nothing is happening against anyone's will ever, no matter what it looks like. Just like if you watch a movie or a play, no one is getting tortured, no one is getting shot dead. It's just a game. It's just a play. And that's the same thing is true here. So whether you understand it or not, whether or not it is a game that you would play if someone is having a really difficult life, you may not understand why they would do that. But again, I will refer back to Naked and Afraid. Those people have perfectly good homes and food and family and clothing and warmth and comfort. They leave it all to have the experience of not having those things of struggling against them to see if they can. The same thing is true as you look around you. There are entities out there who are struggling and having difficult lives, what you think is a difficult life for the experience of that uh, particular life, in that it's a part of the game. The sooner you understand that and look the other way and get down to business in creating what you want to do, creating what where you want to go stop there's another saying that's in the Bible is uh, remove the log out of your eye before you try to take the speck of dirt out of your neighbors in other words handle yourself first 
If you've got your life totally in hand and you've got everything you ever dreamed or wanted, you're creating everything beautifully well and everything's flowing wonderfully, then you can go help somebody else. But my guess is none of you have got that down. Uh, by the way, once you do, you won't be looking at the speck in the other guy's eye, I'm just saying. But uh, most people are busy judging and wanting to change everyone else around out there instead of dealing with their own things. So, again, in order to move, you are in charge of and can only control, have anything to do with your own consciousness, your own uh, perspective, your own game. You can't control anyone else's. It may look like that at times, but it's simply a game and it just looks like it. It's not the truth of what is. So, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. In the first place, when you start pulling yourself back from that and go, hey, start to judge, 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 wait a minute. I don't have to worry about that. They're creative God. They know what they're doing. Relax. Back to what I need to do. It, once you stop putting your nose in everybody else's business, when you stop doing that and start really looking at yourself and your own thing, and where where's your happiness and where's your struggles, and how can you fix that? Once you do that, it's a lot easier. It's a lot less work. Uh, there's a lot of of uh, whenever you stop worrying about what everybody else is doing and start really becoming responsible for yourself. And uh, trust me, as we go higher and higher and higher, more and more people will start doing themselves and only themselves. And you will be surprised what a lovely, lovely existence it is when everybody is just responsible for one person being themselves. And once everybody does that, you would be amazed at how lovely um, the fifth dimension rolls whenever that happens. Because that is how it is in the fifth dimension. Uh, nobody in the fifth dimension is say, looking over there and going, well, uh, that wasn't nice. That's, that's not being a good parent. Or, uh, oh, that country should treat its people better. There's none of that. None of that going on at all. But to get to that point is a step-by-step -step process, and the more you do it, the higher your vibration will be, and the side effect of that becomes the less you judge others and go give it more up. They know exactly what they're doing, and how wonderful of them to do exactly what they're doing, and I know they're doing exactly what they're doing, and they're having exactly the experience that they want, there is an internal smile with that. And you can look at any circumstance from that perspective and be at ease and then be happy for them. And now we've got vibrations coming from within me that is that is uh, not accepting them, but being joyful for them, honoring them, supporting them in whatever perspective they want to play, whatever role they want to play, knowing that it has been added to the whole, the all that is, and now it's a part of us. Now it's a part of us. And it is magnificent. And I'm very grateful to those people who have come to the third dimension and the fourth dimension in all of its glory, who have had all of these experiences under these extremely complex, intense, contrasting scenarios that have added that experience to the whole. It is magnificent. And I'm so glad that they enjoy doing it so I don't have to because it's not my gig. And I'm sure that they look at my, what I tend to do outside of this game, and they go, oh man, I'm so glad she does that because I do not enjoy doing that. And look at the magnificence that adds to the whole for all of us. Okay? All right, so yeah, let's end it there. I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.